What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to Heroes of the Dark. Man, now I heard you want another guide. I heard you wanted some applicable knowledge that you can bring to your day one, week one, year long addiction to this game, man. And I got you covered, man. I got you covered like I always do today. We're doing a power up guide, man. We're talking leveling. We're talking starring up and we're talking gearing up and the best ways to maximize it. Now, a lot of these come down to getting the resources and how to apply them. Uh, getting the resources efficiently is a big one. If you don't want to spend all day long just grinding resources and you actually want to enjoy the game. So I'm going to help you guys out, save your time and get you ramping faster than you ever thought possible, man. Let's just dive into the starting out with leveling. I think that's the first one I got to talk about as far as the leveling, the starring and the gear goes. So yes, I am going to tell you the best way to start getting yourself some juicy juicy shards but we gotta talk how to level your people up first don't we so there's a big thing going on here first things first you want to talk about these uh these element stones right here i'm not exactly sure i think they're called stones something along those lines you know them you love them you grow them in your base right here man simple as that now, i've gotten this question a lot how do you get the different tiers of these stones it's actually funny a lot of people don't notice this and i didn't notice it either you'd be surprised how many people don't it's right here, bro. It's on the left. You just pick which one you want, and then you produce however many you can afford. Now, I will say, keep a stockpile of whatever tier your entire team is at. Were you following my top 10 tips? Then you probably have them all around the same star level. You probably have them around the same level. So make sure you're getting a stockpile of the ones you need. Once you have a lot of them, which I'm, I think a lot for tier 2s is around 200, uh, you can start saving your moon dust. Now, moon dust is very hard to come by. That's what it costs to actually make these. Take a look at this real quick. It takes a lot, 20,000 to make tier twos. It takes 80,000 to make these, and I don't even really got enough to make an, a full 18 set. Now, there's a couple of ways to get moon dust. The best way, obviously, is to hit a moon dust mine. If you can find a tier two moon dust mine early on, you have struck gold, man. Well, not literally, you've struck better. Moon dust is hard to come by, especially for how much you need for these stones and for healing your units when they uh, get injured. But uh, if you can't get yourself in a mine, I would suggest uh, just hit a tier one mine when you get off if you can't find anything better for eight hours. Yeah, eight hours. You definitely definitely want to especially at the end of the day uh but other than that events are not a bad way to get them a uh, hundred thousand for a thousand event points is amazing if you're not planning on getting all 50 summons off from the event it's not a bad idea to invest in some of these man if you are trying to get all 50 summons for the event character just keep investing in these but just know you got to hit every single event to really make that happen so it comes down to how much play time you have available to you it, that event character is looking pretty enticing though man so you know that's kind of used at your own risk but i do fully recommend buying yourself some moon dust out of here we'll talk about something else you need out of here as we go uh we'll come back to it but also you can get moon dust out of here 420 uh, gems is an amazing deal for that much i don't feel bad about ever buying moon dust man i'll even spend gold on moon dust if i need to although i don't really like transferring because you'll notice you actually lose 10k gold or 10k moon dust i do that if necessary like in a moment to moment situation and other than that you can with guild coins however i would suggest saving off for something i'm going to talk about in a second now that's where you get your moon dust. That's how you get your beautiful, beautiful shards. You can only really produce them. That's one of the only ways to consistently get them. So get as much moon dust as you can. Get all that. What do you do after that? Well, you level yourself up with these uh, these little uh, pieces right here. These tokens, if you will. And yeah, a lot of people didn't know you could do what I just did right there. If you click on this, whoever you're trying to build, you can click on this. You can click on the camp. And guess what it's going to do? Watch this. You're, you're going to get your mind blown. A lot of people have been asking for this in the Discord. A lot of people have been asking for this on my channel. Everywhere. All you got to do is click that button. And bam. It will find you the best tier available to you. That's right. It just brought me to a tier 5. That is the highest tier available to me in my area right now. I can literally just attack it. Get all my good, beautiful, beautiful shards. And I can do that for any character. It will always bring me to the nearest tier 5 where I'm at until the tier 6s are available to me. Simple as that. You don't have to scroll the freaking map, guys. Save yourself some time. Click on your unit. Find yourself whatever shard you need. Click attack a bruiser camp. It'll work just as well. It'll pull you right out of the menu. It'll find it for you. Bam, tier 5 bruiser camp. Save yourself the scrolling time. Just do that, my guy. And you got yourself some beautiful, beautiful levels. Easy mode, bro easy mode now as far as these stars go bro it's the exact same thing if you need someone it'll tell you where to get them 
Uh, but for the most part, the answer is either summoning or catacombs, and we're going to talk catacombs in a second. But for the common characters, if you're having trouble finding where their shards are, because all their shards are in dungeons, it works the exact same way. Click on the picture of their shards, click dungeon, it'll bring you to the tier 2 that's available to you of that dungeon. Bam, I can get this guy instantly and some catacomb coins and a piece of gear. Simple as that, speed up your farming process, my guy. I got you covered right there. And that's how you get your common shards. Anybody else? Uh, you're gonna have to worry a little bit about summoning, but you need to pay attention heavily to the catacombs. That's what we're gonna talk about next. The catacombs is big for getting these shards up for your star up, my man. The catacombs are big. There's so much stuff that you get out of the catacombs that's gonna tie in to a lot of stuff. But let's talk about it for a second. You can get Voss right here, an amazing freaking support unit, crazy heals. Uh, I can get this assassin girl that I'm building right now. I'm five shards off from starting her up. That would start her up for me. Uh, you can get all these characters that you are seeing right here are available in shards on top of a crazy piece of equipment for them uh, for whatever level it may be. It just it's beautiful on top of the crafting material for that person now it says that you're gonna get six emeralds for nukers if you do this right well on top of the six that you're guaranteed at one star every chest in a nuker ruins is gonna give you nuker crafting materials every chest in supports landing is gonna give you supports uh crafting materials for gear this is how you actually farm your gear i know it only says there's only gonna be six for you you're going to get a lot of them if you focus on getting your chest. And that's what I would say if you're looking to craft gear, focus on any route that's going to give you the most chest. Now, elite fights tend to not give you any at all. If you're looking specifically to farm for these, I would farm for these through chests. I would hit every single chest that you see on the field and you will get those up on top of the gear, on top of the shards, man. That's star up, that's gear up, that's crafting in a nutshell on top of the coins you're getting, bro. Where do you bring these freaking coins? You bring them to the catacomb shop. Now you get these out of the dungeon as well. Like we said, catacombs and dungeon. And you can spend them on shards just like that. Now, if you need anything else that's crazy, like this right here is a really good piece of gear. I'm probably going to pick that up. This right here, it's a pretty good piece of gear. I'm probably, I mean, look at this thing right here. It gives you health up. It gives you armor. Actually, this one right here, I might not take energy when hit. But this right here is an absolute take for me. Energy regen is hard to come by. Attack power, it's a percentage. Attack power, it's flat, isn't all that enticing, but attack speed, crit chance. Look at this piece of gear. For a thousand coins, that's less than five shards. I can get that my next freaking run. Absolutely. freaking lootly Oh, uh, there's a lot to do with guild coins as far as getting your gear right and getting your shards. Although I would always buy shards if they are for somebody that you like. And then I'd buy flat out gear, and if there's nothing at all in here and you have so many coins because you've been doing your catacombs, Go ahead and pick some of these up, although I literally wouldn't because this is literally just one chest out of the catacomb. This is like a use if you're wealthy kind of case right there. Now there's other places to get shards, like you can throw a hundred gems, which is dirt cheap. That's a guaranteed summon right there. This is like doing a summon and getting him, but not having to worry about it. It's 20 gems off as well. It's a guaranteed pull. 20 gems off. It is a great deal if it's for somebody that you're trying to star up. Sincerely. Uh, you can also get crazy gear out of this. Look at this thing right here. We just talked about that energy. Energy on hit. Yeah. Put this on someone. You're good to go. Look at these stats, bro. That's nasty for their level 40. Th these pieces of gear in the shop are entirely worth it. And this is for the charge of one premium summon. One premium summon or this crazy piece of gear. I would do that. I literally do not spend gems on any summoning at this point. I said in the top 10 tips and I meant it. Do it a couple of times past that. Your gems are more valuable elsewhere. And now we got to talk about it, don't we? Now the guild shop, sincerely always buy the shards, bro. Always buy the shards in guild shop. It's the way to go. There's no, there's no way. Buy, the, buy these, buy these. After that... Look at this. You have 1,000 gold upon use for 1,000. Or you can get 10,000 moon dust for 150. The moon dust is the purchase here, bro. And if you absolutely need to, buy yourself a teleport. But I would say I, I probably would never buy a shield. Unless you're, like, getting bullied. But if you're getting bullied, squad up with someone that's got your best interest in mind. Get a better guild, man. That's all there is to it. But, like, yeah, definitely get yourself some moon dust vouchers after you get your shards. But I would just save up until you can afford, like, two, maybe three of these before you invest in more moon dust with guild tickets. Simple as that. As far as the event shop, man, you can get gear out of this. This thing right here is disgusting. 
absolutely disgusting it can go on any level too that's what's so nasty about it and that is an absolute buy for me but you can also always get tank tokens or any token uh on the daily refresh for this you can get 50 tokens uh you can only get five per run yeah that is disgusting absolutely disgusting either way so now you know now you know how to get your shards and now you know how i just uh, start up my lucretia who is a rare unit now she's just three star just co completely uh no money spent to make it happen simple as that man uh do i have a problem spending money no nah, i've uh, i've bought uh you know yeah i'm not i, I don't know you guys want to hear what i've uh, spent so far i think i'll save that for a clickbait title how's that sound man but either way uh let's go ahead and talk about forge because this is insanely important and this is one of the last things we gotta touch on uh crafting is huge for getting these really enticing pieces of gear this is for a nuker and look at the stats right here attack power attack power attack power uh crit chance crit damage uh crit damage energy on hit this is disgusting absolutely disgusting on top of energy like look at these freaking stats right here these pieces of gears are nasty now when you're first starting out and you're first starting to like begin to want to craft your gear i would suggest sticking around 30 and only for a specific unit that you're getting close to 30 and pick yourself up something around 30 like this i'd pick up uh gives you insane stats for that level all that try and get something that you're gonna be able to use for a little bit and once you have stuff that's around level 30 jump straight to level 50 stuff jump straight to 30 and then 50. now don't craft everything 30 don't get one for every single character but the stuff you really want go ahead and grab it especially for your core team then start to move to those level 50 items it's going to take you a little while to get there once you do get there you're going to be happy you got them bro so as far as you already know where to get the materials from to get the actual uh gears to make them you just disenchant man now there's a couple of things that go into the disenchanting game what i would say is just get rid of everything gray at first you're gonna get a pretty decent amount for gray items you're looking at 25 and get rid of your green items man get rid of your green items and past that pay attention to what the level requirement is for different pieces of gear you feel me like if something is like a level like 80 requirement but it's blue like don't sell that <laughs> you feel me it probably doesn't happen but i'm just saying like the level requirement will tell you a lot of the actual like overall quality potential for a piece of gear simple as that nothing else to it that is massively important so when you're uh crafting make sure that when you run out of gears you go ahead and disenchant whatever pieces you need uh you can select all it's a very dangerous button to work with at the end of the day i wouldn't what i would do is if you have a lot in your inventory go ahead and uh select all and then just go ahead and swipe out everything you don't want it's a lot faster man it's a lot faster i would do it just like that um and then you can just go ahead and group disenchant simple as that now where are you gonna get the rest of your uh your materials at the end of the day where are you gonna get the rest of everything that you're actually uh needing as far as moon dust as far as anything like that um the answer is actually really simple uh pvp uh pvp is a massive way to get moon dust it's a massive place to get gold it's a massive place to get all the resources that you need to uh not only shut down the competition but boost yourself make sure that when you're attacking somebody you see how many how much gold and how much moon dust you're gonna get for it if it says zero it is not worth it it's not worth it unless you're at war you feel me another amazing place for all these materials is definitely campaign the campaign chests are going to give you a lot of these gems so i would suggest doing it you're going to get a lot of gear you're going to get summons as well for more shards you're going to get a lot of moon dust a lot of uh pieces of uh level up material so always do your beautiful a beautiful campaign it is a massive boost to everything that you can get as far as resources go now your uh your actual uh your, your challenges over here are a big thing right here. You might notice I just claimed this. Bam, that's four for my nuker girl. I'm not even close to starring her up another time, but now I just got to do this again. I already got 500 gems right there. I can already buy myself something sweet. There's another piece of gear. There's more summons. There's a speed up. Uh, your daily challenges are going to give you insane stuff. There's more shards right there. There's more uh, energy to farm for upgrade materials. There's more keys for shards and gear and catacomb coins. There's more gems just out of the daily on top of every piece of challenge that I can do in there um there's a lot of resources available to you always do your events as well uh the weekly chest is even nastier by the way uh the weekly chest is absolutely disgusting man uh let's jump over to it real quick and take a look at it man the weekly the weekly rewards are as gross as it gets check this out check this out 400 gems uh and a premium summon on top of all that energy is disgusting on top of elixirs for actually farming in uh, catacombs on top of you know summons and moon dust and hella keys bro so many keys and so much energy uh those are always worth it 
at the end of the day make sure you're doing your dailies and weeklies make sure you're doing all of your events this one just started up uh look at all the crazy rewards and just this tier right here man look at all these shards i told you how many uh how much energy we we're saving was 50 yeah um this is a disgusting disgusting event going on it's non-stop bro every single day there's new stuff for you to claim events are going to be the last way to handle things man at the end of the day but that's it for this one guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it go ahead and click that like button man but you know me only if you really liked it and if you vibe <laughs> let me calm down if you vibe with me subscribe with me i got you covered on two videos a day on the best hidden gems on the mobile marketplace hands down shout out to my girl joining the guild Haley. i see you girl i see you that, that i'm not i'm not flirt that is my girl right there i gotta shout her out man i gotta shout her out if she's on the screen right now by accident may as well but either way I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.